In this video, I'm gonna show you an extremely easy and extremely accurate method to use to determine if you are an empath. So if you think you might be an empath, you are definitely gonna to wanna to see this. Hi guys, my name is Carmen. I'm a spiritually based matchmaker and I'm also a medium and an intuitive. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. On this channel, I give you helpful advice and knowledge that will help to improve your life on a much deeper spiritual level. So you are welcome to subscribe if you like, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. So there's a lot of people out there that are empaths and don't even realize that they're empaths. You might be an empath and you don't even know that you are. So I'm gonna first talk about exactly what an empath is and some basic, simple signs that you are an empath. And then after we talk about that, I'm gonna show you an extremely accurate and easy method that you can use that will help you to determine within a few seconds if you are actually an empath. So let's talk about what an empath is first. So empaths are just basically highly sensitive people that are able to feel other people's emotions. So without looking at facial expressions, without looking at people's body language, without knowing anything about their day or anything about what's going on in their life, just being around that person, they automatically will feel what the other person is feeling. So somebody might be going through a lot in their life and they might be really sad and going through a lot of depression, but um, when they're around you, they might smile and they might seem very happy. And um, if you're an empath, you can already kind of tell that that person actually isn't really happy, even though they have a big smile on their face and they seem like they're having a great day and life is wonderful. Well, if you're an empath, and you're around that person, you can kind of sense that um, that person is actually not really happy and that person is going through um, some depression. They already kind of can feel what another person is feeling and what they're kind of going through in their lives. So a lot of times people will be empathic and they don't even realize that they're empathic. So for example, I am an empath and um, throughout my life, I never really knew exactly that I was an empath and I would be having a great day and I'd be really happy and then somebody would come around me and suddenly that would change. All of a sudden, my happiness would go away. I'd be feeling sad for no reason at all and I wasn't sure exactly why I would start feeling that way. And it was because I was sensing and I was feeling and picking up on that other person's emotions, the other person that was around me. And so I thought that those were my emotions, kind of through all throughout my life, I kind of felt like those were my emotions. And then I discovered that I was an empath and it wasn't really my emotions, it was other people's emotions that I was picking up on. So one of the easy signs to tell if you are an empath is that your feelings and your emotions will suddenly change when other people um, come around you. And it's not that you're feeling that way, but you're picking up on the way that other person is feeling. So you might be having a great day, but somebody that you're around and somebody that you're in close contact with is not having a great day and so you're suddenly out of nowhere you're starting to feel depressed and you're starting to feel sad yourself if you're not aware that you're an empath this can be very challenging throughout your whole entire life maybe you're one of these people that you know you're in a great mood but all of a sudden that will change so easily and you're not sure exactly why this always happens to you why do your moods change so quickly when you're around certain people Empaths also have a lot of difficulty being in large crowds and they have difficulty being around a lot of people because they're picking up on the energy and they're picking up on the feelings of so many people at the same time. A lot of times empaths will start to feel very anxious, 
for no reason at all. They'll have a lot of anxiety. Um, their moods will change very quickly. Like I said, they'll go from having a great day and being very, very happy to being very, very sad all of a sudden, and they're not sure exactly why that's happening. Um, what they don't understand is that those are not actually their emotions. And sometimes they will confuse these other people's feelings with their own feelings and with their own emotions. But that's not actually the case. Those are other people's feelings and those are other people's emotions that they are able to pick up on and they're able to feel. And they often have difficulty being around um, large groups of people and they have difficulty being in large crowds of people because not only are they picking up on their own feelings and their own emotions, but they are picking up on the feelings and the emotions of every single person in the room and every single person in the crowd who is around them. So this can be very difficult for them. A lot of times they try to separate themselves and they, they need a lot of time alone because it can be challenging. If you're an empath who doesn't know exactly how to protect yourself from other people's energy, and how to protect yourself from um, always constantly feeling other people's feelings and emotions, then this can be very challenging for you. So now that I've gone over some basic signs that you might be an empath, I'm going to show you a very, very specific and accurate method that will help you to determine if you actually are an empath. And this method is extremely accurate at determining if you actually are an empath because it uses numerology to do that. We're going to be looking at a specific number in your numerological birth chart to pinpoint exactly if you are an empath. So if you don't know what your numerological birth chart is, I'm going to leave a link below to an app that you can use that is completely free that will help you to determine what your numerological birth chart is. All you have to do is put in your birth date and your full name, your first, middle, and last name on your birth certificate, and it will calculate your numerological birth chart for free. And once we determine if you actually are an empath using this accurate method, I'm going to go over some things that you can do that will help to protect you and guard you from other people's feelings and emotions. And if you wanna see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up because that really helps me to see exactly which videos you guys wanna see more of. And so first of all, I wanted to say that if you are experiencing any of the signs and the symptoms that I previously mentioned, then you are definitely an empath. This is just a way to confirm that. So even if you don't have this number in your chart, then that doesn't mean that you're not an empath. This is just a way to confirm it. If you are experiencing all of those signs and symptoms, then you are definitely an empath. And those symptoms are that you experience extreme emotions in certain environments. People seek you out as a confidant. You need a lot of time alone. You become overwhelmed in intimate relationships. You feel drained in large crowds and you go out of your way to help other people. And so this is what the app looks like. And I want to apologize ahead of time if you have any difficulty downloading these apps or finding these apps or using these apps. Some of my viewers were telling me that they had difficulty finding these apps. And like I said, I apologize ahead of time. This app is specifically for iPhones, and um, so if you don't have an iPhone, I left an, a link to an app for Android devices that, ca that you can use, and that will also calculate your number chart for you as well. So there are two links below. Hopefully one of those links will work for you so you can get this app, and if not, I greatly apologize to you ahead of time for that. And so this is what the app looks like, and this is where you are going to put your information in. So as you can see, I've circled where you write your full name that is on your birth certificate, your first, middle, and last name, and also this is where you are going to put in your birth date as well. And so after you have entered this information into the app, you're going to go and click on this section right here where it says Life Cycles and Destiny. As you can see, I've circled it in the picture. Go ahead and click on that, Life Cycles and Destiny. 
And once you click on that, it's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And so I want you to go all the way to the bottom of the page. As you can see, I've circled it. You're going to go all the way to the bottom of the page where it says Life's Challenges. So go ahead and go all the way to the bottom where it says Life's Challenges. So as you can see, there are three Life's Challenges. We all have three challenges in our chart. And these challenges are some of the difficulties and the hardships that you will face during this lifetime. So these are the challenges that you will be presented with during this lifetime. And these are basically just the negative aspects of each number. And go ahead and look over to the other side of the challenges and you will see that there are three numbers. If you are an empath, one of these three numbers will be a number two. So that means that if you are an empath, one of your life's challenges will be a number two. Now let's go ahead and look at the meanings of the numbers to show you why a number two indicates that you are an empath. As you can see from the number meanings, number two in numerology means cooperation, balance, and harmony with another. People that have a life path of number two are people that have a great ability to cooperate and to work with other people. So like I said, the challenges in your chart are just basically the negative aspects of a number. So if you have a challenge of a number two, you're going to have the negative aspects of a number two. And that just means you have too much energy, too much energy of that one number or too much energy of a number two. So number two has the ability to cooperate really well with other people and to work with another person in harmony and in balance. So the negative aspects of that number would be difficulty working with other people, difficulty working with um, another person, and difficulty in, the, in that sense because you are highly sensitive to that person's feelings and you are highly sensitive to... Um, to that other person's energy. Number twos have a great ability to work with other people because they are very sensitive to other people's feelings and they are very sensitive to other people's energy. So if you have the negative aspects of that number, if this number is one of your challenges, and since two is already a very sensitive number to begin with, having a two challenge just means that you're going to be overly sensitive. You're going to have too much of that energy, too much of that ability, ability to feel other people's feelings. To the degree that it might end up hurting your ability to work with another person and to cooperate and to be in balance with another person. If you don't know how to protect your energy and if you don't know how to block other people's um, energy from affecting you. So basically being overly sensitive, all that means is that there's not a boundary between your energy field and other people's. Most people have a boundary between their energy field and other people's energy fields, but if you have a two challenge, that means you're overly sensitive and that means that there's not that strong of a boundary between your energy field and another person's energy field. And so that's why you are overly sensitive to other people's feelings. You are just picking up the feelings that are in their energy field because the boundaries between the two fields are not very strong. So now let's talk about some things that you can do so that you can protect your energy from another person's when you're around another person and also when you're in large crowds of people. One of the things you can do is you can use crystals to protect your energy. A really great crystal for protecting your energy from another person's is black tourmaline. Black tourmaline is a great crystal to use that will protect your energy from another person so that you will not um, be affected when somebody else is feeling negative emotions, that will not affect you as long as you are wearing some black tourmaline. So you can 
you can wear black tourmaline as a bracelet, you can wear it as a necklace, you can carry a piece of black tourmaline around with you, and that will basically block off the other person's energy from affecting you. So just wearing this crystal around will block off your energy field from another person's and create a boundary between the two of you. Something else you can do that is very simple is if you can tell that you the feelings that you are having are not yours, you can ask God to take away any thoughts or feelings that do not belong to you and to give you protection. So you can ask God to do that, to take away any thoughts and feelings that do not belong to you, and that is a great way to protect yourself. You can also ask Archangel Michael to do this as well, and those are great methods and techniques to use. If you are going into a large crowd of people, you can do that beforehand. Or if you can tell that um, somebody else's feelings are affecting you, you can always say that and instantly you will feel better once you do this. So let me know in the comments below what your experiences with being an empath have been. What are the signs and the symptoms that you've had? What kind of experiences have you had? And what are some things that you do to protect yourself and to protect your energy field from other people? I want to hear what your thoughts and feelings are and what your experiences have been, so please let me know in the comments below. So I hope that this information was helpful to you and I hope that you learned something today. If you have any comments, you can leave them below. If you want to check out my services, I will leave the information to that below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with as many people as you think could benefit from this information. And you can also follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I want to thank you so much for watching this video today. I'm sending you light and love. Take care.